Amazon is heating up to take a run once again at the 200 exponential moving average, what does this mean to NASDAQ futures? What does this mean even to the S&P? We're gonna deep dive that in this video because the individual stocks and the individual sectors in the broader averages absolutely will set the tone for what we might see to upside follow through. That cross on Amazon could be huge. I'll take a look at two stocks and their implications in this update, Amazon and Meta. I'm Raggy Horner, if you don't know me, and I'm the lead trader over at Simpler Futures, as well as the Sector Secrets Mastery, and we're gonna talk about the pieces of the NASDAQ that will matter most in the coming days. First off, the NAS moved lower, and you can see this, we're trading below the previous session close, uh, kind of a, really actually this is an inside day on the NAS. It's a day of indecision. Uh, it's, it's obviously a down day, but one of the questions I always ask myself is, did the day bring me anywhere new? You know, are we, are we testing the previous support? Not really, although we're clearly close to it. Do we test previous resistance? Again, have we gone anywhere new? And today is not, a new day. It's still stuck within the range of the previous session, hence an inside candle, also sometimes called a harami. All right, aside from what it's called, what does it mean? It means that we're still kind of up in the air about what's next. That's where I'll start to dive into the individual pieces of the NAS. So let's do that. How do we do that before we even get to the stock level? Let's open this daily time frame up and talk about the three sectors that are weighted most heavily in the NAS. It starts with the XLK. This is Apple and Microsoft, right? We move on then to the XLC. Think of Meta, Google. And last in the top three is XLY, that's consumer discretionary. So we have tech, communications, and then consumer discretionary. You see consumer discretionary is on the move and also at that 200 exponential moving average, I like to use the simpler propulsion tool, which factors in some moving average crosses. And here we are testing it. So would it surprise anyone if, you know, that Amazon's the number one weighted stock in the XLY? So if Amazon breaks that 200, pretty sure that we'll break it in the, uh, the broader sector as well. It would be nice if Tesla and Home Depot went along for the ride. It may not be necessary though. Those are the top three weighted names in the XLY. XLY again, having huge implications for what's next with the NASDAQ. The other stock that's heating up and I'm very interested in is Meta. Meta is the number one name in the XLC, that communications. If Meta can continue to move higher, taking XLC with it. By the way, Goo Goo Gal are the number two and three stocks. Uh, this could mean, again, more upside for the NAS. So if you wanna know how far and where the NAS is heading, look at the pieces of it. It's akin to looking at the gas gauge when you're starting off a long trip. Do I have enough gas to get to where I wanna go? In this case, it's the momentum of these high concentration weighted names. Now the next question is, Rog, where would we buy them? I'd like to focus on Amazon in this update because to me, Amazon and XLY have the most near-term potential updates, right? So those two are on my list. And by the way, as a futures trader for over three decades now, I love futures, right? But sometimes an individual piece, meaning the sector or the stock, can be a better setup than the broader average itself. And if we think about all of this as one seamless conversation of connected names, it's less about, oh, stock trading versus op tra options trading versus futures, but rather relative performance. Relative to what? Relative to the NASDAQ. I'd love to see the NAS uh, move higher, obviously, and I'd like to see Amazon participate as we break the 107 handle, but that's not enough. I'm gonna break the 107 handle and come back down and retest that level. Now, obviously there could be some momentum on the other side of that. So that could be a really great day trade. Yes, same thing goes with the XLY. Now for, for, for the NASDAQ to continue higher, clearly Meta moving higher, Google moving higher, the aforementioned Amazon moving higher, all of that would be helpful, but Apple and Microsoft really do need to lead, lead the charge because XLK is the king of sectors. It's number one weighted in the NASDAQ, number one weighted in the S&P, and number two in the Dow. It's unique amongst sector ETFs 
in that it is so heavily weighted across all three of the broader averages. So everything really is going to lean on the XLK. If we get a test of the eight exponential tomorrow, uh, that might be a nice opportunity. Keep an eye on Apple, keep an eye on Microsoft. We really do want to take out today's highs. Uh, Microsoft taking out 310 would be key to upside in not only the XLK, but NASDAQ as well. And then Apple trading higher through 173.5, 173.50, again, key. And then if we have the Amazon breakout, if we have that XLY breakout, that's just going to be more fuel in this movement higher in the NASDAQ. And of course, S&P tends to move with tech because of its weighting. So keep an eye on a sympathetic move in S&P. All right. Gang, that is a wrap. That's what's on my radar for tomorrow. Remember, we do have CPI. That's our big macroeconomic pillar of inflation. And we'll see what kind of uh, movement we get out of Google with the, uh, with the event today on the AI. Let's see what happens. I'll see you in the next update. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.